fix my hair up later, but for now I have to do dishes. And when I'm doing dishes, I don't want my hair in my face because I'm down like this and it falls forward and all the things. But you guys are asking about this clip. This clip was mailed to me in my P.O. box. It arrived in my P.O. box and I said, that's cute. I want it. It's coming home with me. Let me show you how I put this clip in my hair. So I take my hair. It can be curled. It can be not curled. I prefer curled because then I look like a fancy princess when I pull out my princess pieces and I twist my hair up like so. Sometimes I will take a bobby pin and I will take wavy side down like so and I will insert it here at the base and push up. It is loosely holding my hair. It is not going to stay but what it will do is keep it in place so that when I stick this in it has something to grip onto. It gives it a little something. Now, you know what I say, the back of my head is none of my business. So I don't know what it looks like back there, but I know it looks decent from the sides and from the front. That's all I care about. And also when you are in the car and you're worried about getting like a claw clip jammed into the back of your head, this sits very flat. Look, do you see how flat this sits to my head? I can actually rest my head. I can, I shouldn't tell you this. I sleep in this claw clip sometimes because if my hair is pulled up like this and I fall asleep on the couch, I'm not taking it out. If I'm wearing a regular claw clip, I will take it out because it's in the way and it's bumping me and I can't lay my head back. This one, I can lay my head completely back. It barely obstructs me. So they're not paying me to say this, but I do genuinely like it. And they did send it to me in my PO box and I am grateful for that because, and I feel like a fancy fucking lady with doing very minimal shit to myself. And that's always what I'm going for. I wanna look effortlessly beautiful with literally zero effort. And this is that. 